let's take a look at this A1 column. If I take a look at that, if I wanted to modify this dimension, you can either click and drag to move that, and as you can see it moves left and right as well as up and down, or if I just click on the dimension itself, we can drag it up and down that way. Say I want to adjust the height or the font of that label. What I can do is I can just double click on this dimension or the label of the dimension, and we can see it brings up my edit dimension dialog. Within here, we can specify our origin, if we want a border around that, do we want it underlined or struck through, what is our justification, what is our pen number. This pen number here adjusts the color as well as the thickness that that will plot. We can specify what font we want to use and then what style of that font we want to use. We can specify our height our width height ratio and then the rotation. If I wanted to I could do all of that same information for our secondary dimension so if I had a dimension below that I could put that in here so maybe I wanted to type in the word hello for example when I say OK we can see it adds in that secondary dimension. Well, in this case I don't want that so I'm going to go ahead and delete that out. We can specify which view this dimension is attached to, what layer that is on, what work point ID if it was a extension dimension, the size of the dimension terminals, so the arrows, what size do we want those? Do we want these legs to be breakable? Do we want to force the expansion offset? And then what is our limit left leg length and our limit of the right leg length? Again, I'm not going to worry about these because we have a lot of room being it's an erection view. And then the pen color of that. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. And we can see that remains in there.